Hello and welcome to another FS22 mod review. We are looking at the new Lizard Pivot Irrigator mod in this video, of which there are four working widths. The smallest in front of us here is the 68 meter, followed by the 124 meter, the 180 meter, and finally for the biggest of fields. 236 meters all of which have got 1000 litre diesel tanks and are capable of holding 2000 litres of liquid fertilizer or herbicide you have options in the store for colors on the trailer pivot and wheel rims you also have options for what size circle they do be it 360 degree, full circle, a quarter circle, half circle or three quarter circle along with the time it takes them to do it. Now this is where there's a slight discrepancy between console and PC. There's nothing that the creator can do about that. To get the longer run, run cycles of these on PC you need the disable motor turn off mod you also need to disable in the game settings our automatic engine start so the minute you get off these pivots it does not turn the thing off now on console the creators put a three minute minimum time on the circle that's the length of time these will run for on console or any engine will run once you leave the vehicle that automatic engine start turned off there's nothing he can do to or they can do to alter that unfortunately so we're gonna take one of these and give it a try or we may try two of them but first things first, we need to set some fields up so we can actually see what we're doing. So there's no way we'd see them running in uh, maze this tall. So we'll just uh, talk to them. There's one down. We'll do the one next to it as well they're quite big that then gives us two fields to go at there we go two fields of maize for us to go at no fertilizer deliberately what I'm going to do first is hopefully I pick the right one for how I set them up we'll be using the easy development tools to fill these up as well so you may be thinking how the devil do we know how far to set these things up well, if I bring the help menu up, you'll see there's a left mouse button setting in there. I think I've got the right one here that I set for just doing a quarter of a circle. If I haven't, it's going to get very messy very quickly. Do not fill this up before setting it down. No, I had a little instant trying that one out. So um cover Z will drop that like so. Drop it off the tractor.
you can then hop aboard the irrigator itself start the engine move them out of the way um, cheaty fill and start right rotation so you've got a guideline there still they can be turned off in the shop see if we look at the map right in the corner of this field and it's fertilizing this corner for us So I will take the big one and set up, but it will be far too big to run on the, this field at full circle. see this uh, working quite well there so I set it on the three minute timer just for the uh, sake of the video unrealistic speed I know that and even the mod creator knows that but he's done it purely for the benefit of console He's also said they will follow the terrain to a degree, but will work better on flat fields. I've tried this on minor contoured fields and that's been fine. There we go, quarter circle done. It doesn't auto shut off though. There we go. Nice and simple. <clears throat> Heading into the shop, these are under sprayers. And the hair. So you can see we've got contour guidelines, yes or no low ball hitch or pin hitch number of sections one for the 68 meter two for the 124 which we just used three for 180 or four for the 236 meter then we've got our rotation settings full rotation at three minutes five minutes ten minutes twenty and thirty minutes and the same for three quarter and for half and finally for a quarter rotation or 90 degrees of a circle then we've got all these color options so if you really want to it could be pink chrome interesting colour scheme but I've stuck to the standard galvanised colour throughout and you've got the same options for both the trailer and the rim colour 
so just for the scale of things we're going to take the biggest one out now may struggle to get enough space to set this up but we will see to put it in the middle of these two fields going to uh, run this and uh, wait for it to cover the ground though because it will take a while so probably the easiest one to way to use this on a standard map would be a part circle so again as we turn down here Use the left mouse button and pull up our guidance. We're still coming across the road at the moment. We are now on here. What I'm going to do just for the uh, sake of things is we're not going to run it permanently on here or anything because I know it's across the road that side. We're going to get it so it can. Uh, Got this terrain. Just need to bring it in a little bit there. So I know it's going across the road there. We'll stop it before it gets that far. It's only a test after all. This is the biggest one. Start the engine before we can do anything with guidelines. Just get that rotating. And turn the spray on. Still keeps rotating if you uh, turn the engine off, which is interesting. Then we'll draw it. Helps as you feel at first. Do you find that? See it's moving fairly. So we can just have a look and see what it's doing. So it is following the ground contours nicely. Just hoping it's not gonna hit those trees. So no issues with the ground contours. Which is good worthwhile test you have to run to keep up with it I did say we'd stop it before it got to the road so I can see it uh, getting itself in a little bit of a muddle here but we will see still going 
Testament to how he's uh, designed it and got all the joints done. It is actually still going. So absolutely no concerns for how that handles terrain. Just gets a bit bugged if a vehicle hits it, obviously. I'm sure I get a bit bugged if a vehicle hit me. So this is available on the in-game mod hub on all platforms and I would say it's well worth a download. It's just another element added to the game. Now if someone can do the linear version of this as well we'll be well away. So on that note, as we can see it's working perfectly on the terrain. That's where we're going to leave this video. So for now I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.